Hi everyone, my name is Maya Gon and in today's video, I will be talking about how I pass the HashiCorp Terraform Associate Certification and Exam. So I will divide this video into five parts. So the first part I'm going to talk about is the Terraform Associate Exam format. So when I took the exam, it had about 58 questions and I had 60 minutes to take, take the exam. So you can say you can divide like one minute per question. However, even though you have 60 minutes and 58 to 59 questions, for me personally, I finished it in about like I can say 40 minutes, which included me actually attempting all the questions and then also reviewing all of them or some of the ones that I thought worked more hard so i just flagged them and then i went back to them and i just checked them and reviewed them if i think the answer is right and then all of that process took me about like 40 minutes and i was able to complete the exam then i even passed it in the end with a really good score so the format as i mentioned is just mcq's questions they are like just mostly um one answer mcq questions but sometimes there are mcqs which require two answers or th even a selection of three answers and those get do those ones do get a little tricky however once you get the gist of it like once you do the practice exams and stuff you will get to know like the whole format of the exam but i think it's pretty simple for 60 minutes you have um six, around 58 to 59 questions however you need to be quite focused and you need to have your time time limit like over there you can you have to keep a check of it because you know you never know how much time you take on one question so you need a lot of practice before actually taking the actual exam so this would be like the first part which i just discussed which was the exam format and now let's move on to the second part of this video which is my expertise in terraform before i took the actual certification so i have like about i would say 10 months of Terraform experience before I took the certification. However, when I started like 10 months back ago and I got into Terraform in the start, I would say that I was like, I, I had no knowledge of Terraform, just a little bit. I have heard of, I heard, I have heard about it, but I was never actually doing some hands-on Terraform work. So what I did was in the first, first, from the first first month and the second month i just did some kind of like you know research on what terraform is why we use it and i just did some practice i mean i just watched some practice videos on youtube like how terraform works why do we use it and stuff like that so that was quite helpful in the start but once i got to understand what terraform is i actually moved on and i started doing some hands-on work in terraform so that hands-on work in work included like me practicing working with one of the providers of aws and creating a terraform project so if you guys don't know about don't know about terraform already so terraform in, in a terraform you have different kind of providers which you can connect to different different kind of um other other services and tools so for example aws as you guys probably know is amazon web services so i worked on a terraform project with aws in which i created infrastructure for aws using terraform so in terraform you create a main.tf file some variables.tf file and you can create several other .tf files so for my aws project i had like one main.tf file in which I had the AWS provider. So this was just the basic basic beginner level project that I worked on. So it just included some basic .tf files in which I just set up the AWS provider and I just created like an RDS database, a few S3 buckets and an EC2 instance. So it was, these are all just like test instances and stuff. So this was just for my practices just to get the gist of Terraform. However, I would say that was like my beginner level um work on terraform i just got the gist of it how it works and you know how what other things Ter terraform gives you and includes so this was once i was like kind of comfortable with terraform then like the basic level things of terraform and then i moved on to the next advanced level of terraform which was working with terraform modules creating modules using modules in terraforms terraform and actually creating huge infrastructure in aws and actually managing that infrastructure too so you know got the, i got to know the commands of terraform like terraform init plan apply uh, validate format and um, even 
even had to learn about and practice the terraform state file so you know there's a lot in terraform but once you get the gist of it once you get comfortable in it you really can um learn a lot in terraform so i would say that now i had good expertise of terraform i was comfortable with using terraform i would i was comfortable in creating code in terraform and managing terraform files so that's why i was like why not take the certification and see how i do in that and as i had this much of experience i was able to pass the certification really easily so this would be like my second part of the video which i just discussed which I just discussed, like, you know, what why, what kind of expertise I had for Terraform before I took the certification. So let's move on to the third part, which is why Terraform is helpful and why this actual Terraform exam is also, is also helpful. So to start off with this part, I would suggest that, again, Terraform is very a very helpful tool a very helpful tool provided by hashicorp just because you can manage all of your infrastructure through code and everyone loves that so terraform has been really helpful and it is not bound to one provider you have several providers you can use with terraform so terraform with aws terraform with heroku terraform with like sumo logic terraform with github even so terraform with azure like whatever there's several pro providers terraform works with so you can have infrastructure for all of them combined and you're not limited to one provider at all so that has that has been like one of the best advantages of terraform and the other thing is that it's really simple to use in that sense and once you get the gist of it as i mentioned you get really comfortable with it and it gives you like a the terraform plan the terraform in it the terraform apply command they are pretty simple to use however you need to be very careful in terraform you know because terraform once you press uh, you like enter terraform apply any changes in your plan or your in your infrastructure or code can be applied so you do need to be careful with terraform however i would suggest that working with terraform is quite fun in a sense it's also quite simple sometimes it does get tricky because you get some terraform errors here and there but that's part of the learning process and once you complete that you can actually get to know of terraform a lot more and get more hands-on work on it so i would say that terraform is actually a very helpful tool and why you should take this terraform exam is just to just to know if you are good and have the enough uh, expertise in terraform you should justify your skill in terraform how much you lack in terraform so for example once you give the exam and once you get your percentage in the end so for example if you get like an 80 percent out of 100 percent in the exam right so in the end they do give you some uh, basic headings which are in the syllabus and they tell them what kind of percentage you got in them so for example they would uh, tell you like your um your knowledge of uh, infrastructure as a code like how much percent how much answer how much how, how many questions you got right in that part so there are different sections in the exam not actual sections but uh, the questions are separated into different sections like for example um most some questions would come from the infrastructure part some questions would come from the code part like they have given all these details in the um syllabus like in the docs of terraform associate exam and similarly uh, once you complete the exam they also tell you these are the parts you lack in and these are the parts you are good at so that is also kind of really helpful like when i gave the exam i got to know like you know this part is still i still lack in this part so i think i should get more understanding of it do more practice in that so that was i think very helpful and just an overall certification too like you get to pass in certification and you get to add that in your resume which lets other people know that you know you have passed that certification you have that expertise of terraform that you can use it and you are comfortable with it so if you go in anywhere in like a job which requires terraform you can show them that certification and be like look i have the hashicorp terraform associates uh, certification passed and that means that gives them like a clear way that you know terraform so I think getting a certification is like a really good thing and not of only of Terraform, but I also have AWS certifications, which kind of proves like what, what kind of, um, what kind of software you've been using, what kind of good expertise you have. So that will include my third part, which was why, the, why Terraform is helpful and why the Terraform exam 
is helpful so now we will move on to the fourth part which is what experience you guys require before taking that HashiCorp Terraform certification so as I mentioned before taking the exam HashiCorp gives you a whole kind of syllabus an overview of what kind of topics you can expect in the exam so my first a suggestion for you guys would be to go through each of those topics and learn them and read read through them and see which are are you more comfortable with and which are something which are topics that are new to you so if there's a topic that's new to you just go go search that up learn into it learn that and like practice on that and similarly with other uh, other of the topics too so there are like different um sections in that syllabus and in that documentation you you guys should go through all of them like do learn all of them understand what they're talking about and then also do some hands-on practice so that you know how terraform works as i mentioned like when i started off with my terraform i did some basic projects so why not you guys also just open youtube you'll find several terraform um terraform people like uh, people on youtube doing terraform projects creating mini projects with some kind of example provider so just do that just to get the gist of terraform and even we um claydesk also have a course in um course for terraform and in our udemy channel or even on our, on our website which is claydesk.com so you guys can even check that out but i would say you know taking a look at the documentation, taking a look at the syllabus, then studying through it, then, le then learning it, and then also hands-on practicing it is like utmost imp important if you guys want to take the certification exam for Terraform. So that concludes the fourth, fourth step, which is actually studying it and getting to know the actual exam and what kind of questions you will get in that. And now we come to the last and fifth part of this video, which would be the study guide and what kind of practice exams I took before the um, actual certification. So because I said I had a lot of good expertise already, I had like 10 months of Terraform experience. So personally, I didn't take that much of um, study courses, online courses to get to know of Terraform because I had the basic knowledge already. So, but if you're someone who's like really new to this, really new to Terraform, I would suggest you guys to take a terraform course online and online there are several sites like udemy you can also find some on linux academy maybe and if you search terraform courses online you can even find them on youtube so i would just suggest you to a first step would be to take online courses on terraform and just get to know terraform like you know just start off with it and get the experience and then do hands-on practice on it so just as i mentioned like we do have a terraform course on udemy on our claydas channel so if you guys want to check that out go enroll that enroll in that course and it's really helpful if you are guys are a beginner level at terraform and just want to learn terraform and do some basic hands-on project pro work projects on it so it's a really good course but i would suggest like you know the first step if you're really new to terraform take the courses get to know of terraform practice hand, hand terraform but if you're if you're like me who who already had like a good months of experience in terraform i would just su suggest suggest you to just take the just go through the syllabus overview and just see if there are some topics that are new to you if the topics are new you should just look at them like for example when i was uh, looking at the um documentation i saw that there were a few concepts i didn't know about that much so i just look at the concepts again i'll just practice practice those concepts and i was able to clarify my mind and i was about i was able to learn about them so i would suggest do that when once you're done with the study and the online courses and you know the theory and understanding the next step would be which is the most important part which is taking some practice exams online and taking a look at some exam dumps so once you're done with everything i would suggest go search online for some practice questions on the certification or take some um like find some exam dumps and some old previous practice exams or just questions that people have online and try attempting them and just to see where you stand so if you are able to pass the practice exams and get a good score on like the test exams um then you, you should be like most comfortable in taking the actual exam and the actual certification too so that's how i did so once i was able to get to know the theory and hands-on practice in the end before taking the actual certification i just took a take uh, took a look at some of the 
like practice exams some of the sample questions online and once i went through them i was comfortable that you know i i, I think i can do it i think i can go for an attempt for the certification and that's what i did i was able to do that and i was able to pass the hashicorp terraform certification so this also concludes the fifth step which was practice exams are important for you to actually take on the certification because they actually give you an understanding of what type of questions you can expect in the actual certification so they are like really important but um this was the whole um video in five parts i hope you guys were able to understand most of it and um, I, I hope this helps you guys if you guys are thinking about taking the Terraform certification but I think I would suggest you to take the certification if you are comfortable enough in Terraform and its understanding and also make sure to take a look at the practice exams and take online courses before going for the certification because that's really important and yep that's how I was able to pass my HashiCorp Terraform certification too if you guys have any questions regarding these exam uh, regarding the study techniques regarding the practice exams just ask me in the comment section down below and i will be free i will be available for you guys to answer all of those questions and make sure make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a like and you know just comment below whatever your thoughts are and i will reply to you and this will be the end of the video hope you guys liked it and thank you for watching